Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be teaching you about coding variables. As you see, I already have a beautiful buck tooth bunny with his teeth pointing up with big eyes. So how do I do this? Well, first I created a variable called eye size and I set it to 70. And um, we have eye size here and eye size there. And the eye size does these two eyes here. And then we have the eye size. So if we want to change the size of the eyes, we just go out to the 70 and then we just drag it. Just drag it. Whoops. Just drag it to make the eyes really, really big. And then we can make it smaller again. We can make it really hilarious. Like that. Or we can make it like that, what I had. But what if you want to do the teeth? What if you want to change these beautiful teeth right here, huh? Well, what we want to do is we want to make the variable teeth. And then we make it negative 14. And then we put the teeth, two of them here. But if we change the negative 14 to a positive, it goes up and then it goes down. So it's getting longer. And we can also reverse it here on like that. And um, the shapes, you can make lots of shapes with coding. You can make rectangles. That's the rect function. So I'm just going to put a little note. So the rect the rect function the rect function the rect function it rect function creates a rectangle rec what rec rectangle shape a rect function creates a rectangle shape but what about the ellipse function? What is this? What is this ellipse? Well, the ellipse, the ellipse function, function creates ellipses, which are the same things as circles. So circles are equal to ellipses, and ellipses are equal to circles. So if you want a circle, you just type in ellipse. And these are the x and y coordinates. They work differently for rectangles and ellipses. Ellipses are slightly different. This is the y, this is x, y, this is the width and size, I think. And this is x, y, width and size, except they work a lot differently. But, so, that's how you do variables for the Bucktooth Bunny Challenge on Khan Academy. And if you finish it like I did, you can save it as a spin-off, just like I did. And um, all the other, um, all the other uh, users of Khan Academy can see your um, spin-off of Bucktooth Bunny. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you learn a little bit more ha about how to code and um, the coding version and the coding variables. Bye.